guys, welcome back to the Strong Sisters YouTube channel. Happy Sunday to all of you. Today's vlog is just going to be a carnivore full day in the life. Carnivore full day of eating, nothing too serious today. Just come hang out with us. I feel amazing. I slept really, really well last night. I would like to know, am I, am I a grandpapa? I started getting ready for bed at 8 p.m. So I think I fell asleep around 9, 9.15. But I find that the earlier I fall asleep, the better sleep quality I get and I wake up the next morning feeling extra refreshed. So that quality of sleep before midnight. But we are going to start this day off as we do most days of the week with a lift. Today is an A angel wing lift. Speaking of A angel. All right, let's go get our angel status. En route to the gym, my chauffeur is driving me. So I checked my email as we're driving to the gym and I received an email from someone who knows that I am on a keto or they don't know I'm on a carnivore diet, they know I'm on a keto diet. And they sent an article from New York Times that says, could a keto diet be bad for athletes bones? And this New York Times article then cites a study from the journal called Frontiers. So it brings up an article from January 21st, 2020. A short-term ketogenic diet impairs markers of bone health in response to exercise. And so the first thing I do is look at the uh, objectives. And I saw that the, the athletes are only on the keto diet for 3.5 weeks and then they take all these blood markers. And my first thought is, of course there's going to be huge changes in the body when there are abrupt dietary changes. And I'm sure most of you all know there is a long fat adaptation period, which can take six months up to a year, up to a year and a half for your body to fully adapt to using especially fat for, for fuel. Yeah, especially for athletes. So I politely responded and I said, thank you for sending with large abrupt dietary changes. There are always short-term changes in the body. There is what's called a fat adaptation period. Like Wait, I said, I think this is good to say that like, always say thank you. Yes, always say thank you <laughs> to all the people who question this way of life because it's so bizarre and so far Please. removed from the standard American diet. Appreciate your concern. I appreciate but... it, yeah. There is, and then I said, there's some pretty cool research out of Dr. Volek's lab at Ohio State showing benefits after long-term fat adaptation. And then I link Dr. Volek's studies, which we'll link below, which shows there's performance improvement after athletes have been fat adapted for a long period of time. I then also said, I also think a higher protein keto approach is more appropriate for athletes, whereas some standard keto diet percentages take a lower protein approach. And they take this lower protein approach in fear of gluconeogenesis, so the body converting protein into carbs and kicking them out of ketosis. I do not think that is that big of a deal and is a harder pathway than what people make it out to be, especially for athletes. I think it's important to have high protein. Um, so I then say higher proteins have shown to have a protective effect on bones. And I link to a meta-analysis from 2019, which shows the protective effects of higher protein. And then I said, uh, thank you for sending this along. No doubt there's a lot of research left in the field and a lot of unknowns. So it's crazy how many people are still questioning this way of life because it is so far removed. And she's a savage when it comes to these things. You just simply can't challenge her. She will combat it. And I think that's really good. For me, usually I just say like, oh, thank you. And then I move on because I don't like to create controversy. But Ashley will always defend herself. It's just like- Because I'm super passionate I know, about it. I think it. that's excellent. But yeah, all right, we're pulling up to the gym. Time to get our lift on.
All right, we just got home from the gym and I'm about to start making photo number one of the day. And like I told you guys probably yesterday or something, I say that the same thing a lot. We keep this meal very simple. So all I'm gonna be doing is using some of the rump roast that we sliced. And then I'll include some chicken feet probably. And then our fat source will be like suet. Always feeling the beef suet. But I wanted to bring up something. I think one of the most interesting components of openly sharing our life on social media now is the mixed responses that we get from different people. So like we really get extremely nice messages sometimes, especially this one website inquiry that I'm about to show you from this woman who doesn't eat carnivore herself right now, but she's been semi-inspired because she's been dealing with IBS and anxiety, and so she is thinking about coming to the carnivore way of life, and I think that that is incredible. So, oh, sorry. So we've had several people coming from the vegan lifestyle who are potentially inspired to try something else for their health, and that is amazing to make such a lifestyle switch like that because I know once you join a lifestyle, you get really passionate about it. And that is especially true for vegans. So more power to that woman. But we also get very, very, very interesting contacts such as this message from John. And I'm not going to close his email off because you know what, he's bold. He said, should I tell the other carnivores that you aren't really the strong sisters? You are the strong brothers. Do you want to come clean on your own terms? John, I'm speaking directly to you. Please explain your question. I would love to answer it. The initial thing that comes to my mind is, are you, are we, like, are you asking whether we are transvestites or are you asking if we had a sex change? The answer is no and no. We are sisters. Um, and then just another frequently asked question is, are we partners? No, we are just sisters. No offense to that. I think you are just inquiring, but I am inquiring now back to you. What is it? What's the dealio? So anyway, I'm going to get cooking as I wait for John's response. Um, yeah, so let's get, let's, I'm gonna show you what y'all know. I'm gonna show you, I'm, 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 I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make. Yeah, oh, another thing. Eating cardboard is so intuitive and it's just like, listen to your hunger cues and that your cravings, like, if it's coming from an animal, eat it. Don't worry about it so much. You don't have to eat raw beef suet. Heck, you really, really don't have to eat chicken feet if you don't want to. Don't overcomplicate this at all. If you just wanna eat steak and eggs, oop, a chicken nail literally just fell off onto my hand. And I am going to eat this because I like this. But if that's not for you, don't eat it. Keep it simple, K-I-S-S, -S. keep it simple, silly. But I really, 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 really do like the soft bones from chicken feet and stuff. And as I cook, I have this nasty habit of just eating extra pieces of the steak, so. special way of doing eggs are done. We have the nice and thin egg white cooking with the yolks very raw still. Major key is that tilt when preparing them to really spread out the egg whites. You don't want to overcook those. Yolks. So you might notice that I am a solo kitty cat in the kitchen right now and trust me, it is as weird as it looks. Ashley and I typically do pretty much everything together. We've lived together for the last five or so years. She. We're at University of Illinois right now, and so she came here for grad school when I was kind of starting undergrad. Uh, so we've pretty much eaten every single meal together. We've gone to the gym almost every single day together for the last five years. So I used to be super independent, and I used to do these things alone. So when I was going through like my eating disorder in high school, I went to the gym by myself. I ate every single meal by myself. So now switching and having her here for everything has really shifted 
how much enjoyment I get out of this lifestyle. And it comes with its own benefits and downsides. So benefits, I absolutely love her. I wouldn't change a thing about doing any of this without her. So I love it. Like I think that's a huge reason we've had such success in transitioning to a carnivore way of life because we've had each other. And so we have each other to bounce ideas back off of and to have that support in person. Um, but the downside is that I think I've lost a little bit of like autonomy or individualism where I don't know that I'd really be able to do these things by myself as confidently or at least share them to social media. Like I would not be on social media if I didn't have her to but do it with us. To. I know, exactly, and that's what's so excellent. So if anybody I'm freaking out about these eggs, if yeah. anybody okay. can't overcook the egg yolk, okay. A lot of people actually do this alone. I realize that like they transition to carnivore by themselves, they go to the gym by themselves, they work up the courage to do all these things by themselves every single day. And I just think that's so amazing. Like, I don't know if I'd be doing it. I don't know. So kudos to you if you out there Killing it by yourself. Blessed to have my strong sister, or yes. as someone just called us, strong brothers. I told them that. I shared it with them. Paul, I'm still waiting for that response. Yes. Platter number one, yes, I enjoy all of this food. Otherwise, I wouldn't be eating it every single day. Love every single part of this plate. So we got the remaining of the rump roast that we showed yesterday, lightly business. seared on the cast iron. Show them the business. Three over easy eggs. Chicken boobs. Raw beef suet. Some chicken fetis from our bone broth, which With is extra the claws. soft. And then some raw frozen liver for my multivitamins. Let's see you. All right, after that bump and plata, I am headed to give a practice presentation. So I'm not really sure how many of you guys know, but I am a graduate student in mechanical engineering, and I hope to complete my PhD in the year of 2020. So next week, I have my first job talk ever at Air Force Research Lab. And so today, I'm giving a practice presentation, practice job talk at my research lab group. So I'm heading there now. Wish me luck, guys. So I was sitting down to get some work done, and then my friend sent me a link to a video where she said we our names were mentioned and it was Frank Tufano's video titled Carnivore MD Paul Saladino's Plagiarism. And so the part that we're mentioned at in the video is where Frank is saying that there's a conflict of interest that we were on the doctor show with Paul but it was a setup and then he shows it a brief email snippet that shows my name signed off. And so just to explain the email, over the summer, after Ashley and I signed on to work with Paul for a cookbook, Paul was expressing to me that he was really struggling with his social media, and so I offered to help him as a social media manager. I have like no real experience with that. So what I would do was just respond to his Instagram DMs from time to time, and then respond to his emails, signing my name, just basically sending a pretty standard I just got message. Home. Are you talking about the Frank Tufani video? Yeah. Woo. And so, like, that's fine. Honestly, we have no, I, I no issues with Frank. I literally like I think he's pretty cool like I think that he really paved the way in carnivore before Absolutely. anybody was doing it it's so, like I personally have no beef oh there I go with my man hands <laughs> so anyway I naturally went to this web page the YouTube and I just naturally command f our names sisters. because that's just what I'm gonna do if anybody commented to like say like you, you oh mistakenly put explained. sisters you put a put strong brothers I should have put strong brothers Sorry. so anyway I found one comment that I'm going to show you guys this is again just the reality of putting your life on social media that says I wish I could be like the strong sisters, but alas, I don't have a male digit ratio, straight torso, huge man hands that can cover my face, flat back, and extra T. I guess gender inverted front stage players in the actor based reality aren't just in the vegan movement. About three fourths of that comment flies over my head. I don't understand what it means. <laughs> Besides the flat back, 
the man hands and the gen gender inverted part, I guess. I don't know. But regardless, like for a second, I like started to tear up because I'm naturally a very sensitive person. And like, I, I don't, I don't have any incentive to hurt somebody else. You're super, you are a little bit sensitive. I am sensitive. And Whereas I, just, I, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it, I'm a hard ass and you really can't break me down. I just wanted to share that though because people are always gonna have crap to say about your choices and your lifestyle, what you even look like, even if it's something you can't control. Yes, I have very large hands. It can indeed cover my face, but I mean like, am I gonna hide because of that? No. So. No matter what happens, just keep doing you. If we could peace, peace, out peace us it, out, pull us out of that. That'd be great. So, were you gonna go dog park? Yeah, I just got back from my presentation and it went really well. Good. Yeah. Ashley had a presentation. I already, sh I already told them that she told you and it went well. But I have to make a lot of changes before next Wednesday. Okay. So, so we're gonna head to the dog park now and then make platter number two. Alas, we are at the dog park and I just want to say I realize I probably just sounded absolutely ridiculous, like a big weenie. <laughs> Waters Ranch grass fed mini hot dog like <laughs> like a mini hot dog log or something I would just like to say that overall the main takeaway was that I would just like to be left out of that narrative hey, Amen. I want no <laughs> problems hey, No man. problems, oh, okay? No, no problems with you man. I don't want no problems uh -uh, no, Me and my big man hands <laughs> we don't want no problems Okay, so yep just here to have a good time, you know Here we have the kiddos This is probably my favorite standard meal. It's very simple. Very bumpin'. It's got the essentials that we love. So let's see what's on platter number two. So we've got a pound of chuck steak or chuck roast, whatever it's you want to call it. fat cups. Very wonderful. We've got three chicken boobs. These are local pastured eggs. And guys, like the beautiful orange boobies. Extra orange. Side bowls of raw beef suet, and then of course the bone broth. So, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog again. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. It was kind of a random video. I, don't, I seriously don't know what this was, but um, make sure yes. you guys like and subscribe below. And until tomorrow, behave like an angel.